Hi, in this particular video, we'll see like how to fix curse code mods not showing. Curse code is a popular platform for Minecraft players to create and download a wide range of mods that enhance their gaming experience. However, encountering an issue with Curse Forge mods are not showing up can be frustrating. Fortunately, there are several potential reasons for this particular problem. We will explore them in this particular article. Okay, so why this particular error? Curse Forge mods not showing up. Many users have reported issue with Curse Forge mods are not showing up for installation or after being uploaded. There could be many reasons for this particular problem. Network problems whether on user side or server side can disrupt proper functioning of Curse Forge and prevent mods from showing up. The outdated version of Curse Forge might be the factor since regular updates are needed to work with the latest version. So make sure that you always use the updated version of Curse Forge in order to avoid this particular problem. Okay, and the other causes could be antivirus and firewall software which can be mistakenly block curse forge making it difficult to access mods. lastly server related problems like maintenance or the technical difficulties can temporarily affect this availability of mods so now we'll see like how we can fix curse forge mods which are not showing up it's one of the serious error whenever you are trying to play this game or whenever you are trying to use this particular application so the reason number one is check your internet connection so make sure that you have a proper internet connection with a very good bandwidth so having a proper internet connection with a very good bandwidth will definitely help you to avoid this particular problem okay and uh, what you can do is like you can do some of the simple steps from your end just check your uh, modem or a router that whether you have some kind of loose connections or if all the wires and cables are properly connected to the modem or router the best way what you can do is like you can just reset your modem or a router or the simple way is like you can just switch off and switch on your router or a modem for a few seconds and then you can just turn it back because whenever if the router or a modem is being used continuously it gets heated so what you can do is like you can just switch off for a few minutes you can just switch off for five or ten minutes and probably you can switch it on okay and if the problem persists you can reset your network settings on your device go to the network settings menu look for option to reset or restart the network settings okay so if you are using the Wi-Fi, try switching to the wired connection to root out any potential wireless users. See, you have a cable connected to your modem or a router. Okay, so what you can do is like you can directly plug in that particular cable directly to your system or a laptop in order to avoid any kind of issues while you are trying to use a Wi-Fi. Okay, because sometimes whenever you you are using a Wi-Fi you will face some of the other issues or the problems okay so if you connect directly cable to your laptop or systems these kind of problems can be avoided okay so restart your router or a modem to refresh the connection that's the first method like how you can fix this particular error curse forge mods which are not showing them and the second method is check Curse port server status. To find this issue, just visit this particular website, Curse port servers. So let's see this particular website and see that if there is any 
if there is any maintenance is ongoing on if the server problem it's best to wait for them to fix before trying it to curse for again okay so now let's see this particular website so we'll see this particular website we'll visit this particular website click here to visit curseforge.com downtime server disruption country worldwide this down server status it's slowing up here just wait for some time so this to this today okay so here you can see that whether if the server status is down today okay so here you can see whether if there is any disruption or if there is any downtime or the maintenance is updated okay so that's the second method and the third method is check for curse for update to avoid such errors make sure that you are using the latest version of this particular Okay, so you can visit this particular official website. So here you can download the latest or updated version of this particular application. That's the third method. And the fourth method is disable the antivirus or the firewall. So whenever you are using the antivirus, it's definitely good to use. But whenever you are trying to use this particular application, so make sure that your antivirus is disabled. So once you stop finish once you finished with the using that particular application then you can you can re-enable your antivirus okay to temporarily disable the firewall and just follow these particular steps open your control panel because here you have to disable both firewall as well as antivirus and you can click on search for windows defender firewall Windows different to firewall and advanced it. Just wait for some time. Go to control panel. Systems and security. Windows different to firewall. You can just see here. So make sure that uh, select the appropriate network file. Choose the option to turn off the firewall for the selected. That's the fourth. Method. The fifth method is clear the curse forge caches and cookies so what you have to do is like it's always good to clear your caches and cookies so what you can do is like press windows key plus r button then here you can type percentage local update percentage press ok then here you can locate and open the curse forge folder so here you have to find that particular curse forge folder so once you enter that particular pym folder you should see caches folder right click on the cache folder then select delete from the context menu confirm the delete deletion when it's prompted if it will ask for the confirmation like whether you really want to delete it or not then press ok or then you can continue once the cache folder is deleted you can restart the curse forge that's the fifth method. The sixth method is wait for some time, then try again later. That's the one of the most simple solution. What you can do is like you can just wait for some time, then you can probably try again later. And the seventh method is uninstall and reinstall the curse forge. Curse forge. So what you can do is like sometimes uh, the installed application might not be working due to several reasons. Okay, maybe it's outdated or it's it's a older version or it can be due to many reasons like whatever the application you have installed or it might contain some kind of bugs or it contain some kind of error so the best part is that what you can do is like you can re you can uninstall and reinstall what you can do is like you can go to control panel go to 
programs so here you can go to programs and features so there you will get all the programs or the software what you have installed in your particular system and select the particular program that is sketch food and click on uninstall you can uninstall it then you can restart your system then visit the official website in order to install it again okay so if you go to this particular website you can install it you can download and install the latest version of this particular application and the eighth method is contact CurseFort support team the support team is always ready to help you in order to uh, sort out the issues you can just raise your request you can go to this particular website you can raise the request for the problem what you are facing and you can wait for some time and the CurseFort backend team will get back to you and they will you can just click on this so here you can see email subject app what kind of support you need your username project link game OS the operating system what you are using so here you can enter the entire description here you can record the video or you can import the files or you can attach the files here then finally you can submit it okay that is how you can follow whenever you are trying to use the support team okay and the backend team will get back to you and they will sort out the issues whatever the problem you are facing okay this is how we can overcome this particular problem by following the methods which i have shown okay so that